Gaston Bachelard, French, Bala, the 27th of June 1884 to the 16th of October 1962, was a French philosopher. He made contributions in the fields of poetics and the philosophy of science. To the latter, he introduced the concepts of epistemological obstacle and epistemological break, obstacle epistemologique and rupture epistemologique. He influenced many subsequent French philosophers, among them Michel Foucault, Louis Althusser, Dominique Lacourt and Jacques Derrida, as well as the sociologist Pierre Bourdieu. Life and work Bachelard was a postmaster in bar sur Abbey, and then studied physics before finally becoming interested in philosophy. He was a professor at Dijon from 1930 to 1940 and then became the inaugural chair in history and philosophy of the sciences at the Sorbonne. In 1958 he became a member of the Royal Academy of Science, Letters and Fine Arts of Belgium. <laughs> Bachelard's psychology of science Bachelard's studies of the history and philosophy of science in such works as La Nouvelle Esprit Scientifique, The New Scientific Spirit, 1934, and La Formation de l'Esprit Scientifique, The Formation of the Scientific Mind, 1938, were based on his vision of historical epistemology as a kind of psychoanalysis of the scientific mind. In the English-speaking world, the connection Bachelard made between psychology and the history of science has been little understood. Bachelard demonstrated how the progress of science could be blocked by certain types of mental patterns, creating the concept of obstacle epistemology. Epistemological obstacle. One task of epistemology is to make clear the mental patterns at use in science, in order to help scientists overcome the obstacles to knowledge. Topic: <laughs> Epistemological breaks, the discontinuity of scientific progress. Bachelard was critical of Auguste Comte's positivism, which considered science as a continual progress. To Bachelard, scientific developments such as Einstein's theory of relativity demonstrated the discontinuous nature of the history of sciences. Thus models that framed scientific development as continuous, such as that of Comte and Émile Meyerson, seemed simplistic and erroneous to Bachelard. Through his concept of epistemological break, Bachelard underlined the discontinuity at work in the history of sciences. However the term, epistemological break, itself is almost never used by Bachelard, but became famous through Louis Althusser. He showed that new theories integrated old theories in new paradigms, changing the sense of concepts for instance, the concept of mass, used by Newton and Einstein in two different senses. Thus, non-Euclidean geometry did not contradict Euclidean geometry, but integrated it into a larger framework. Topic: The role of epistemology in science. Bachelard was a rationalist in the Cartesian sense, although he recommended his non-Cartesian epistemology as a replacement for the more standard Cartesian epistemology. He compared scientific knowledge to ordinary knowledge in the way we deal with it, and saw error as only illusion. Scientifically, one thinks truth is the historical rectification of a persistent error, and experiments as correctives for an initial, common illusion, illusion premier. The role of epistemology is to show the history of the scientific production of concepts. Those concepts are not just theoretical propositions, they are simultaneously abstract and concrete, pervading technical and pedagogical activity. This explains why the electric bulb is an object of scientific thought, an example of an abstract concrete object. To understand the way it works, one has to take the detour of scientific knowledge. Epistemology is thus not a general philosophy that aims at justifying scientific reasoning. Instead it produces regional histories of science. Topic. Shifts in scientific perspective Bachelard saw how seemingly irrational theories often simply represented a drastic shift in scientific perspective. 
For instance, he claimed that the theory of probabilities was just another way of complexifying reality through a deepening of rationality even though critics like Lord Kelvin found this theory irrational. One of his main theses in the new scientific mind was that modern sciences had replaced the classical ontology of the substance with an ontology of relations, which could be assimilated to something like a process philosophy. For instance, the physical concepts of matter and rays correspond, according to him, to the metaphysical concepts of the thing and of movement, but whereas classical philosophy considered both as distinct, and the thing as ontologically real, modern science can not distinguish matter from rays, it is thus impossible to examine an immobile thing, which was precisely the condition for knowledge according to classical theory of knowledge becoming being impossible to be known, in accordance with Aristotle and Plato's theories of knowledge. In non-Cartesian epistemology, there is no simple substance, as in Cartesianism, but only complex objects built by theories and experiments, and continuously improved v. 4. Intuition is therefore not primitive, but built v. 2. These themes led Bachelard to support a sort of constructivist epistemology. <laughs> Other academic interests In addition to epistemology, Bachelard's work deals with many other topics, including poetry, dreams, psychoanalysis, and the imagination. The Psychoanalysis of Fire and The Poetics of Space are among the most popular of his works, and the latter had a wide reception in architectural theory circles. Jean-Paul Sartre cites the former and Bachelard's Water and Dreams in his Being and Nothingness. Bibliography His works include Essay sur la connaissance approche Etude sur l'évolution d'une problème de physique, la propagation thermique dans les solides La valeur inductive de la relativité La pluralisme coherent de la chimie moderne L'intuition de l'instant Les Intuitions Atomistiques, Essay de Classification 1933. La Nouvelle Esprit Scientifique 1934. La Dialectique de la Durée 1936. L'Experience de l'Espace dans la Physique Contemporaine 1937. La Formation de l'Esprit Scientifique, Contribution à une Psychanalyse de la Connaissance Objective 1938. La Psychanalyse du Fou The Psychoanalysis of Fire, 1938. La philosophie du non, essai d'une philosophie du nouvel esprit scientifique 1940, publisher Pelican Olibri, 1978 L'eau et les rives, Water and Dreams, 1942 L'air et les songes, Air and Dreams, 1943 La terre et les reveries du repos, Earth and Reveries of Repose, 1946 La terre et les reveries de la volonté, Earth and Reveries of Will, 1948 Le rationalisme appliqué Applied Rationalism, 1949 L'activité rationaliste de la physique contemporaine 1951 Le matérialisme rationnel 1953 La poétique de l'espace The Poetics of Space English translation ISBN 0-8070-6473-4 1958 La poétique de la rêverie 1960 La flamme d'une chandelle 1961 L'engagement rationalist, the rationalist engagement, 1972. Topic: English translations. Though most of Bachelard's major works on poetics have been translated into English, only a few of his works on the philosophy of science have been translated. The philosophy of No, a philosophy of the new scientific mind, Orion Press, New York, 1968. Translation by G. C. Waterston. La philosophie du non. The New Scientific Spirit. Beacon Press, Boston, 1985. Translation by A. Goldhammer, La Nouvelle Esprit Scientifique. Dialectic of Duration. Clinamon, Bolton, 2000. Translation by M. McAllister Jones, La Dialectique de la Durée. The Formation of the Scientific Mind. Clinamon, Bolton, 2002. Translation by M. McAllister Jones, La Formation de l'Esprit Scientifique. Intuition of the Instant. Northwestern University Press, 2013. 
Translation by Eileen Rizzo Patron Lintuition de l'instant Topic See also Topic References Topic Sources Dominique Lacourt, L'Epistemologie Historique de Gaston Bachelard, 1969. VRIN, Paris, 11e edition Augmente, 2002. Dominique Lacourt, Pour une critique de l'épistemologie, Bachelard, Canguilhem, Foucault, 1972, Raid. Maspero, Paris, 5 e Aid. 1980. D. Lacourt, Marxism and Epistemology, Bachelard, Canguilhem and Foucault, New Left Books, London, 1975. Dominique Lacourt, Bachelard, Epistemology, Textus Choesis, 1971. PUF, Paris, 6 e edition, 1996. Dominique Lacourt, Bachelard, Le jour et la nuit, Grasset, Paris, 1974. Didier Gill, Bachelard et la culture scientifique, Presses Universitaires de France, 1993. Didier Gill, Autour de Bachelard, Esprit et Matiri, Un siècle français de philosophie des sciences, 1867-1962, Les Belles Lettres, Ancre Marine, 2010. Homage à Gaston Bachelard. Etudes de philosophie et de histoire des sciences, by C. Bouligan, G. Canguilhem, P. Costabel, F. Courts, François de Gognet, M. Damas, Giles Granger, J. Hippolyte, R. Martin, R. Poirier and R. Tayton. Axe du colloque sur Bachelard de 1970 L'imaginaire du concept, Bachelard, une épistemologie de la pureté by Françoise Gaillard, MLN, Vol. 101, No. 4, French Issue, September 1986, pp. 895-911. Gaston Bachelard au le rêve des origines, by Jean-Luc Polican, Larmatin, Paris, 2007. Topic. Further reading Christina Chimiso, 2001. Gaston Bachelard, Critic of Science and the Imagination, Routledge. De Gognet, F. 1970. Bachelard, Gaston. Dictionary of Scientific Biography, 1. New York, Charles Scribner's Sons. pp. 365-366. ISBN 0-684-10114-9. Smith, James L. New Bachelards, Reveries, Elements and 21st Century Materialisms. Other Modernities, 156-167. doi, 10, 13132035-7682418. External links Website of the Association of Friends of Gaston Bachelard in French Centre Gaston Bachelard de Recherche sur l'imaginaire et la rationalité, Université de Bourgogne in French Works of Bachelard online in French <laughs>